Okay, so we are here, and uh, we are here now for the for the workshop on the computation of interest on share capital or dividend and patronage refund. Now we will be needing the following data from our financial statements in order to compute for the dividend and patronage refund. Number one is the audited financial statements, which composes the balance sheet, income statements, statement of cash flows, and notes to financial statements. Now, we also have here the number two uh, uh, data that we will be needing, which is the detailed share capital per member. Detailed share capital balance per member per month. So for January, February, March, April, May, until December, what are the balances of the share capital per member? So that is uh, uh, the, the share capital balance per member per month. Number three is the average share capital per member. How do we compute this? The, the purpose that we have the uh, monthly balance for the member is that we will then to total the the balances from January to December and divide it by 12. So by, uh, by that, we will arrive at the average share capital per member per month or the average monthly balance of the share capital per member. And in number four, we will be needing the interest income, which is uh, the interest income or the interest on loans paid by the member to the cooperative. And then for the number five, we will be needing the net surplus, the audited net surplus from the audited financial statements, which is the income statement. So that's for the requirement. And then we will move to the uh, sample audited financial statements. I have here the sample audited financial statements that we will be using for the computation for purposes of doing our workshop. We have here the, I would like to highlight the share capital balance, which is 2,758,100. And then we have the interest income, 423,000. We do not have here uh, other income. We have the net surplus of 142,100. Uh, this is the result after deducting the statutory fund, which is the general reserve fund, the CETF, the CDF, or Community Development Fund, and Optional Fund. So, we have here a total of 30% deducted from the net surplus before distribution. So, we have the uh, 423,000, and then less the expenses, which is the 220,000, we arrive at the net surplus of 203,000. So, from the 203,000, we deduct the 30% of uh, the 203,000, which is allocated in the following manner, the General Reserve Fund, 10%, uh, CETF, local and national, that is 5% uh, five, uh, 5 and 5%. So that is a uh, total is 10%. We have here the Community Development Fund, which is 3%, and the Optional Fund, which is the 7%, so a total of 30%. And in terms of amount, this is 60,900. So 203,000 here, less 60,900, we arrive at 142,100. So this amount will then be used for the computation of dividend and patronage refund. Now, we will go to the capital balances. So we have here uh, capital balances for audited financial statements, share capital, we have 275,800. So this is 275,800. Oh, there is a slight error here, like just to uh, check with us. So we will just add this one to the I know. Plus two four one eight hundred two four one eight hundred. Okay, so that tallies now the December balance. So what did I? Uh, what it? What? What have I told you about the capital balances? Is that we 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 use this. Um, 
this is uh, member one, member number two, number three, number four. So we have 400 members all in all. And the uh, the balances of their share capital is this one, January. These are the balances. February, these are the balances of the share capital. March, April, May, June, until December. So in December, we have here the 2758, 100. That we can also verify from the share capital, which is 2758, 100. Now, uh, so this is the balances for the share capital per member. So that's what we have in the number two requirement. Now, on the number three, the average share capital per member, how do we compute that? So we total the January to December, which is 498, and we, we divide it here by 12 to get the average uh, share capital per member. So that's uh, 41,000. This is now the average, uh, monthly average balance per member. Okay. So this is now the, uh, that one. So for member number one, member number two, oh, actually this is uh, by name. And then you will have this, the amount here. So this is the total uh, average, the average total balance, average monthly uh, share capital. Now, we will now go to the computation of uh, dividend and patronage refund. So, if we are going to get an, an, an equal rate for the dividend and patronage refund, here is uh, on the upper side, this is how we are going to do it. But uh, before explaining on the top uh, computation, I'd like to bring you to this one here, which is the computation of dividend patronage refund per CDA circular. So anyway, this is, uh, this is the required CDA circular. So we have here the average share capital uh, share capital average, which is 1.549825. We have obtained that from the from here, 1.549.25. And we have here the interest income, the actual interest income uh, from the income, audited income statement, that's 423,000. If we go to the audited financial statements, here is the income interest income which is 423,000 so let's go back to the computation so 1549 the share capital the average share capital plus the interest income this one we arrive at 1.972825 from this uh, 1.972825 uh, uh, what we have here what we are going to distribute is the net the net surplus okay so the net surplus after this distribution we have one for two one hundred going back to the uh, audited financial statements one for two one hundred we have here the one for two one hundred that is the net surplus for distribution okay so from this net surplus for distribution okay, we will we will just compute for uh for the sharing right away okay for 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 the sharing uh, from the cda memorandum circular it says that patronage should not be or should be at least uh, 30 percent so we, we will put here 30 percent right away for the patronage refund the 142,100 times 30 percent we arrive at 42,630 Therefore, the dividend or the interest on share capital is 70%. So we will arrive at 142,100 times 70%. We have here the 99,470. If we add these two, uh, it will equal the dividend for the net surplus for distribution. Okay. So this net surplus for distribution now. Uh, is our uh, basis for the computation of our uh, will become the basis for the computation but uh, in order to get the rate we will divide it by the total distribution so 
if we have here the <coughs> okay uh, you have here the net the the interest on share capital which is the 70 percent of the net surplus for distribution divided by the average share capital we arrive at 6.42 percent therefore the dividend rate is 6.42 percent and for the patronage refund we have 42,630 divided by the total interest income so if we divide 42,630 divided by 423 we have here a 10.08 percent uh, for the patronage refund rate so the cda memorandum circular also states that the the patronage refund rate must not be more than twice the dividend rate so in this case uh, it is the, it is valid because the patronage refund rate is only 10.08 percent while the dividend rate is 6.42 percent if we multiply that by two uh, must not be more than twice no so it must not be more than twice so that's 12.84 so 10.08 is not more than 12.84 so therefore this is a an acceptable uh, level of declaration for dividend and patronage refund so this is it for the computation of the dividend and patronage refund now if we are going to distribute this one we we, we distribute this uh, 99,740 and the 42,630 to the members then we will have here uh, the computation okay so let's go here so this is the per CDA memo uh, I'll just close this January to December so that we will save the space so we have here the average share share balances so per member member number one member two member three so this member have uh, average share capital balance of 41,500 and paid interest of 43,000 uh, 4,353 in the computation of the interest on share capital going back here the 41,500 divided by the average oh. I don't know if this is correct no? because the average share capital balance should be 1529 therefore this is 1529 so it's okay so 41,500 divided by 1.529 times uh, 99,740 to arrive at the dividend of 2,698.62 this is the interest on share capital of member one And then in order to compute for the patronage refund, we will have here the interest payment of member one divided by uh, divided by the total which is 400 times the 42,630 to arrive at 463.92. Therefore, the total in the total dividend and patronage refund for member one is, 3162.54 and then we will just compute for everybody for all the members there we will have here the total the total uh, distribution so for each member so um in order not to confuse i will just not discuss this one but uh maybe i'll just dis discuss this one on another on another uh, on another video but uh, this is for purposes of showing that uh, the dividend and patronage refund is equal but there is a memorandum circular from the cda which should be followed 
So anyway, we will be following the memorandum circular and not the equal computation. So I will not just discuss the equal. Although I have here, uh, I have here some computation about it, but uh, in order not to confuse our accountants, so let's just focus here on the per CDA memorandum circular. So that's it for the computation of the dividend and patronage refund, and I thank you for involving this course. Thank you very much, and have a good day.